Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are going to start a new tutorial series in which we will learn about PHP and MySQL. So to start this uh, tutorial series, you need two things. One is Visual Studio Code, so which you can download it from here, code.visualstudio.com, and the other one is uh, Zem Server, which you can download from uh, uh, ApacheFriends.org. Now, the installation of these two tools are very simple. When you um, uh, download the executable, you run it, and it will automatically uh, take you through the installation steps. Now, I have installed both of them. So, first we will start this uh, Apache Zem server. So, we need two things. We need to start this uh, Apache, uh, which has this uh, PHP because we are using PHP and we need to install MySQL, which is this one. So we install, uh, start both of them as I have started this. So now I will minimize this. And now we are in our Visual Studio code. So now we will create a file. So new file. And uh, it will ask uh, us to select a language. So I'll click on this and we will select, uh, uh, search here for uh, PHP and uh, I'll select this and now I'll control S this. Now I have to save this file uh, into uh, a XAMPP htdocs. So uh, if you have installed the uh, XAMPP server uh, by default is installation is in the C drive and if you have installed it in another drive so you have to uh, go there. So I'll click on this and now if I go to my C drive, C, and now if I go down, so here we have this XAMPP, and uh, here we have this, uh, this htdocs. So I'll open this, and now I'll uh, name this uh, my scale example dot php, and now I'll save this. Now, our mysql uh, example.php file is created so we will write our php and html script here so first we will start with the html tag so html and now i'll close this then we will uh, uh, close this tag as well so i'll come down make some space and now i'll close html here and now our html uh, tag is closed so now I will create a head tag head and now I'll close this head tag as well so I'll uh, close it here now the head is closed so now we will have a title in this head tag so title and now I have to close the title and now I'll close the title tag as well now inside this i can uh, show a title so i'll use connecting to mysql and php so now we have created the title now i will uh, create here uh, down this uh, head the body tag so i'll use body and i'll close it down and now we will uh, created uh, closing tag as well. So now we have created the closing tag for the body. Now inside this, we are we will create our PHP script. So now here I'll uh, create the PHP uh, script called PHP, and now I'll uh, uh, press enter. And now we have to uh, close this as well. Uh, this PHP tag. So for that, I will use shift question mark and then closing tag. Now our PHP tag is uh, created. So now, so now inside this, we will create our uh, host as we are using a local server. So we will use local host. So I'll use dollar db host. So uh, in this way, we create variable with dollar sign and this, uh, then the name. So this is a variable. Now I'll use uh, equals and uh, here i will put single course and local host because uh, apache is our local uh, server here in the same 
So that is why we are using on this local machine. So we are using local host. Now, then we will be using DP user. So DP user is, uh, uh, I have forgot the dollar sign. So I'll put a dollar sign here. Now I'll use equal and do a DP user is root because we haven't created any other user. So we are using the root uh, user of the database and now I'll put semicolon here now now we are using we are going to mention here the uh, password so db uh, pass user password this is db user password so we are not using any password so I'll put empty and now I'll put semicolon so now we have created our variable so now we will uh, connect to this a local host so for that I'll uh, use dollar my sqli equals and now here we will use new my sqli and here we will pass in our uh, db host so dollar db host comma and then we will use db user and db user and then we will pass in the db password so it is dollar db pass so now as we have provided these and now i'll put semicolon here now and uh, later in this tutorial series we will provide the database name as well but right now we are connecting only to the server so uh, we are not going uh, we are not going to connect to any specific uh, database so that is why we are not mentioning the database here now we will use f dollar mysqli connect error underscore error this one so then we will print a message so we will use here print f and here we will pass in connection failed failed and now we will continue it at the end uh, or we will put a comma here and we will use dollar dollar my sqli and then uh, connect error this one and now i'll put semicolon. and now here i will pass in connect dead successfully and now I'll put a semicolon here at the end of this and uh, then I will use a dollar my give lie and then arrow and then close and now we will close it here I forgot a line here so here if it, the connection fails so we will exit and now I'll put semicolon here now our code is complete so now we have to run this so i'll go to this uh, browser and here i'll search for local host and then we will uh, provide our file name so our file name is uh, if i go here so our file name is my schedule example dot php so i'll come here my schedule example dot php and now if i hit enter so nothing is showing up here so we'll come to our file and i'll control it set to save this because uh, it is not working because we haven't saved this now if i uh, my schedule example dot php and now if i hit enter now you can see here connected successfully so we have connected to uh, my schedule local host and php so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video 
if you like the video please like subscribe and comment and in the next video we will be creating a database with a inside this uh, mysql uh, server